In this movie, we will create the columns and interior walls on the ground floor. See dimensions DWG for all distances and dimensions. Continue working in your own model or download step 2 DWG. Let's start with the columns. Launch the circle command then click Temporary Tracking Points in the Entity Snaps toolbar and snap to the first reference point. A small red cross indicates that the point is identified as a temporary tracking point. Move the cursor until a blue tracking line displays. Type 750 and press Enter. Another red cross indicates the second temporary tracking point. Move the cursor, type 750 and press Enter. Press Enter again. Type 250 to specify the radius of the circle. Choose Extrude in the Quad and define the height of the column. Select a column and copy it over a distance of 7050 mm. Select both columns and copy them over a distance of 4150, then type R and move the cursor to create a second copy of the two columns at the same interval. For the interior walls we will use the following procedure. First create the walls with the correct width and height, but don't bother about connections and the exact position. Then adjust the position and connections. To control the bottom faces of the walls, set the elevation to minus 100. Switch off Entity Snaps. Start the PolySolid command and specify the start point of the wall. Make sure to specify the end point when the blue tracking line displays. Right click, then specify the height and width. All dimensions can be found in Dimensions DWG. To create a wall of the same height and width as the previous one, just right click after specifying the endpoint. Now that we have created a first series of interior walls, we can start making connections using the bin drag command. Hover the cursor over the end face of a wall, choose bin drag in the quad and press the control key. If you then move the cursor, the selected face will be connected to the nearest side face of another wall.
zoom in and rotate a model to make selecting faces easier. Remember to hit the Tab key to select an obscured face. Let's repair this L connection. You can use also entity snaps to position a wall. Now let's create the remaining interior walls and specify their exact locations and connections. To conclude this movie, we will place the walls on a dedicated layer. Glass walls 0, interior walls 0, Exterior walls zero. In the next movie, we model the stairs and create a ground floor finish. Thank you for watching. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.